Welcome. What is up? Colin here. What is up, everybody? Return to the basics. Being healthy and fit and strong. And everybody should be strong because bone density is connected to aging. So I don't care how old you are, how young. Being strong should be a pursuit. Being healthy, fit, and strong is not hard. It requires a few simple, very simple, very easy to execute, not complicated, don't need to pay for, free habits and routines. That's all it is. It's just having some routines. And if you have the ground outside, you have a gym. And if you have a fridge at home, you have your nutrition station. Let's go through a few of these real quick. Big, 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 big first principles for how to be healthy, fit, and strong. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, it, it, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. You have to do these things, okay? So the first most important thing to be healthy, fit, and strong is you have to cook at home. If you stop eating at restaurants out of a package, right, which is Whole Foods, Publix, wherever you go, stop buying these pre-made corporation packaged foods where you just eat out with a spoon because quick and it's easy and you think like it's healthy, right? It's not. Restaurant food, corporation food, and I mean like prepared food. I'm not talking about raw ingredients that you then take home and prepare yourself. Restaurant food and corporation food is not good for you. There is no way around this. Seed oils, uh, extra preservatives, artificial things. You don't know what's going on in the kitchen. They mass produce these things. They overcook them. They let them sit, grow mold. And like the lack of transparency, the lack of actual checks and balances and the food and supplement industry will blow your mind. I'm in it. I know. There's, there's so much food fraud. Like it's insane. Actually, did you know that most olive oil on the shelf is actually a blend of soybean, canola, and maybe olive? Some avocado oils in the market. Actually, there's a recent study where most of the avocados on the market, most of the avocado oils in the market, which is a new market that's been growing, are not avocado oil. Or like in one example, there was a brand that was 100% soybean oil being passed off as avocado. I kid you not. <laughs> and there's some brands where they do a mix where it's like 50% avocado, just get that little tinge of green in that flavor. And then it's soybean or canola or some other crap. It's food fraud. It happens all the time. There's books written about this. You would not believe the amount of food fraud there is. Sushi, there's a lot of food fraud there. Yeah. You avoid this by cooking at home. The only place where you can control every single thing that goes into your meals, the salt, the cooking method, the ingredients you source because you bought it local or you bought it from an online su supplier like Wild Foods or Crowd Cow, and then you bring it home and you prep it in a certain way and you eat it and you enjoy it and you have health and longevity as a result. That's what it is. It's the most important thing. Next up is movement, exercise, fitness. And actually, I'm, I don't have sleep on here, so I'm going to put sleep next. So sleep is actually the, probably the second most important thing. It's integral for longevity, for aging, for managing stress, for helping with whatever goals you're trying to achieve. And I got my timer coming up here. Let's stop that. It is the most, one of the most important things. Sleep and real food, if that's all you did, if you just slept eight hours a night in a dark room and you had a very healthy sleeping routine, and then you ate real food that you prepared yourself, you would achieve the body and life of your dreams. Give it six months, but you'll get there. It's fascinating, okay? And I also have one more I'm forgetting, stress. We'll get to that last. So now, exercise, fitness, movement. This is the easiest to execute because you already know what to do. You know how to get outside and sweat. You know how to run or walk or hike or ride bikes or play sports or swim or do something or go to the gym, lift out, lift out, <laughs> lift weights, do yoga. And just do it a few times a week. Get your heart rate up. Get your breath <laughs> going a few times a week. Get outside if you can, ideally every day. Take a walk. Do other movement activities like low-intensity stuff. That's all you need. You don't need to train or compete or have a coach or a trainer do any of these crazy things. That's only for a select few. You just need a holistic, sustainable routine that you actually enjoy. You're doing things you enjoy. Play a sport. Do yoga or do something that engages you, that you want to build mastery for. And it will serve you in more ways than just the physical aspect. It's also massive stress reducer, which is another huge, huge thing for any fitness goal, for any longevity, and for being healthy, fit, and strong as a human. You have to remove stress as much as possible. You have to silence your monkey mind. That's mostly it. 
I got laugh and play here in a community and relationships. That's actually a big one. So it's not it. We have a loneliness epidemic in our culture. People are substituting in-person relationships and communication, hugging and touching for digital, for what they perceive as versions of it or screens or substitutes. It's disgusting. It's a tragedy for our species. And it's an overreaction, politicized nonsense. I'm sure you can know, you know what I'm talking about. It's not just that. It's just also trends to hiding behind screens more, staying home more, saying no because I don't want to drive. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I want to stay home in my comfort. I want to watch my Netflix. I want to eat my junk food on the couch. The modern corporate environment is, and I think that's my timer going off. Hold on a second. It is. The modern corporate human is somebody that works a nine to five, comes home, eats their food that is like in a package. They ate their lunch at some fast food place. They got their breakfast at a coffee place or a breakfast food place or whatever. Then they come home and they land the couch and they watch their subscriptions, their content. They eat their snacks, maybe their ice cream, whatever. They don't get outside. They don't move. They're not reading. They're not learning. They're not developing. And they're going into debt, credit card debt to buy things they don't need that they saw on TV or that they saw influencers wearing or promoting or whatever. And their life is just a series of dopamine fixes, hits, dopamine hit, dopamine hit, dopamine hit, while increasing loneliness, increasing depression, and increasing discontentment, increasing lack of purpose, lack of fulfillment. It's scary stuff. It, millions live like that. Millions. It's crazy. Because it's... It's, the, it's not a good plan for life or health. And there's so many other better options. And yes, some of them require being uncomfortable at times and putting in some work at times, but you get to this point where you enjoy doing it. It becomes part of your identity. You don't feel like yourself until you've gotten your workout in or you've gotten outside and got your hands dirty, did move and did something, built something, garden, something. You don't feel yourself until you spend time with people you care about. You get a lot of face time. You're hugging them, you're touching them, you're kissing them. And the more you do that, the more it self-reinforces. The more you become addicted to the good things for you, the better life, the more you become addicted to being healthy, fit, and living a long time. And then as a result, your stress levels come down. You sleep better at night. You're more likely to cook at home and not give in to sugar fixes or be addicted to these processed fake foods. It's all very symbiotic. A holistic, natural, balanced life is the best human life in every single way. It's also how you become successful. And if you want to become rich and famous, you get that as your foundation, boom, to the moon. That's, that's what it takes. That, that's the uh, path. And anybody that tries telling you to sacrifice this or sacrifice that, no, nonsense. It's literally the foundation of everything. So that's it for today. Short video show podcast. Uh, get in the newsletter, call by coach. Subscribe to wherever you're hearing this, whether it is a podcast or YouTube if you're watching this. Do something about it, though. Pick something that stuck out to you in this episode and write it on a piece of paper or add it to your uh, to-do list or your calendar or something and create it repeating. You know, Maybe it's a daily walk after dinner. Maybe it's uh, once a week, hang out with friends and go play a sport or whatever. Build something into your calendar, into your schedule right now and start taking action on it. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.